welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Just a little quick video today. Uh, I've not been putting out videos for a while. There is a reason for that. Um, but I'm not going to get into it on this video. Now, somebody got in contact with me. I do get a lot of people contacting me and saying, can I send my to you to modify it for more power, this, that and the other. Normally I do decline because if they're in the UK, it's they're going to get stopped at customs. So I decline and say no, blah, blah. Anyway, this one chap got in touch with me. He'd bought one from a, a French YouTuber that does a lot with these. This is my one, the 11 joule version, all tuned up. He was having trouble with it. It, it was jamming on the seventh shot, obviously. First six shots were all right put another drum in it. It was jamming on the seventh one. And when it came to taking the CO2 out, it was jammed in there, it couldn't get it out. I mean, this one, CO2 goes in and it falls out. Plus he wanted it tuning up. Now, he lives in France as well, so we've not got the customs issues and we're allowed up to 20 joules. So I says, yeah, send it and I'll have a quick look. <sighs> there are some, <laughs> I don't know if he's a dodgy player, this French YouTuber. I won't, I'm not gonna mention any names. If the owner of the gun wants to comment on the video, that's fair enough, that's up to him. But um, whether he's just a cowboy or he's not checked his work because I have found a few issues. Let's have a look over here. I've stripped it down. Let's have a look over here. Now this is the 11 joule version, so he was told. So I've got a seven and a half joule version there, which is tuned up. I've got my 11 joule version, which is tuned up. And this is an 11 joule version. Now what? I've put the bore scope up here, and I didn't know if the CO2 chamber was the same on the 11 and the 7.5 joule because on the 11 you've still got the clips on it for the push-in disc you know it comes you know where's the uh, comes with this tool from Home Defence 24 you just screw that in I'll put it back in this gun to show you goes in the bottom there just find out where it locates just give it a push it's quite hard. And then you just undo that. And there you go. The disc is fitted in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I'm shining a light down it. So that disc is fitted in there now. And that's the seven and a half joule version. Now on the 11 joule version, it's got the clips in there for that disc. But it, the CO2 disc, it's got a thread on it and it screws in. Now on this one, this was cross threaded and it wasn't all the way in. So I'm, I think the where that was cross threaded and not sitting in flush, it was making the CO2 sit a bit further out and it was wedging it as you popped, you know, with that piece, as you popped the CO2, it was working, but it was pushing it off to the side, so it was having a job to get it out. I'm now taking that disc out, the CO2 is falling in and out, no problem at all. Um, also, another thing, on my 11 joule version, this one, I've drilled that out to 1.5 millimeters. That's pretty much the maximum you want to go. Otherwise you're just going to use all your CO2 on a couple of shots. This one, this so-called YouTube expert, that's over two mil, that hole. So even, if we're, even when that's sitting in there properly, um, you're still going to be using a lot of CO2 and not gaining that much power. I will put that back in when I put the gun back together and see how much difference it makes and this, that and the other. Um, it has had the valve taken out of it apparently. Um, 
but I'll put it all back together, screw that in properly and test it and then we'll be tuning this one up and then we can send it on its way. So I'll be doing that in another video. Um, I've got some tuning parts coming from Home Defence 24 and we'll get them fitted to this but what I probably will do is get this put back together with that disc in properly and we'll see if that makes a difference. So all I can say is be careful who you let work on your uh, doodars. <laughs> it might have been an oversight, but if you're going to mod modify something and sell it, you really ought to test it, make sure it works. As I say, not naming any names, but just be vigilant. <laughs> and uh, I'll do some more video and we'll get some parts for this. So we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.